All right, ladies, gentlemen, and non-binary folks. Uh, today we're gonna be we're gonna be doing more Undertale Neutral Glitchless. Uh, let's call ourselves P for penis. to uh, be doing not hard mode after a while, you know. It's nice to run a category that isn't hard mode. talk about uh whatever Actually, I know what to talk about. Uh, I need to pray to R and Jesus that I uh, get something halfway decent in this ruins so I can beat my old ruins. I might, if I get halfway decent enough, then I might actually be able to beat my hard mode ruins, which would be nice. spider donut. Actually, maybe I shouldn't use violence. That was a bit of a time waste there, but you know, it's, it it happens. One gold. What the fuck? Okay. Guess I'm hoping for a Whimson then. I don't even know if I can get Whimson in this room. I think you can get Froggy Whimson in this room though. Oh, a pair of Froggets again. Um, Spider Donut, that's all.
Um. area feel I feel like I can still get a halfway decent ruins here and even if I don't I have a lot of chances to save time over my last round I mean I know for sure I'll save time on papyrus Hope I get like eight hands before you know <laughs> before Willie J Willie J bans eight hands and glitchless. <laughs> Oh my god. What the fuck? That was actually really good with the health. That was good fucking RNG on those hands, wow. <laughs> he kind of threw me off on that last attack too, because like... I was just so shocked by the good RNG that I just didn't get hit fast enough down. Sag. Fucking ruins. Ladies and gentlemen, th this goddamn ruins. Honestly, this ruins might not even beat my old one, but whatever. <laughs> But this is only the beginning. We can do better. <laughs> Alright, so my plan here is to, uh, not fuck up on papyrus because I remember last time I missed the choicer um all right yeah I miss I miss menu on the choicer on papyrus and I ended up fighting him four times so I know that's not gonna happen again that's that's gonna be I I, I know it won't happen again Sam 
hands. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's sands. It's fucking sands, dude. Sands? All right, doggo, it's just you and me. Hardest fight in the game, boys. Here we go. Oh my god, I fucking did it. What the hell, dude? Oh my god. God gamer. move. Well, I guess I'm holding down, uh, holding it down right then. Smooth, very smooth. Do not play ball, do not play ball, do not play ball. Got it. I have to resist the urge. There are certain things in this game, it, it's like, it's all in Snowden too, it, it's like, almost all in Snowden, a little bit in Waterfall, there are certain things in this game that are, like, just unnecessary time losses that I really wish I could take because they're so fun, it, like, the, getting, getting the artifact in Waterfall, uh, the, like, do, put, doing the, the fucking, um, the, uh, the statue, like, so memory plays, um, <laughs> fucking, fucking, fucking petting lesser dog. Uh, yeah. Playing ball. Fuck. Uh, that was a dumb mistake. But look, we're still gonna get time save off of Papyrus, I, I'm telling you. Understand? No. Understand? Even less. Uh, 
I I feel like after a little while of me running this game, you'll be able to make like a compilation of me not knowing how to count to four on Toriel's Choicer. Guys, you, you wanna watch this is gonna be the fastest fucking greater dog you've ever seen. <laughs> Already not the fastest greater dog you've ever seen. I cannot man you da, 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 da. <laughs> This will be time save da 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 I feel like I can get that BPT below uh, b below 153 real quick from Papyrus. Though. I might be able to get it below 152. Honestly. Also, I need to get a better fucking stand for my Yeti because, like, the default fucking stand that the Yeti comes with is so bad. Like, that's why my mashing sounds so bad, it's cause this fucking- it's cause like the- the vibrations in the goddamn desk coming through the stand. Go right to spare and not the stick, and then don't miss menu on the third. Or after the third, rather. I cannot menu. <laughs> Why am I mashing? I don't need to match. <laughs> I guess it's just practice. <laughs> but then again, I do have uh, Ocean Bagel's MASH practice installed on this computer somewhere. Ah. No. 
full minute time save, boys? Can we get it? Can we get a full minute time save? Can we get a full minute time save? Full minute time save? This is gonna be a full minute time save. Full minute time save. Full minute time save. Minute time save. Boo. Woo woo. <laughs> Damn. Alright, get the tutu, get the tutu, get the tutu, get the tutu. Need this for Undyne, I die too much. A lot of people don't pick up, like, healing items and, uh, like, armor and stuff like that, and I understand why. Uh, but personally, I like to pick those things up because, uh, it can, like, of course, kind of help out at least a little bit. I mean, if you're not great at the game, uh, it's just, this is just a tip for beginner runners, if you're not great at the game, then I actually do recommend picking up little healing items when you can, because the time loss from you dying will definitely be greater than the time loss from you picking up items, most of the time at least. And though if you're confident that you, that you won't die, then absolutely do not pick up healing items. I didn't need to save there. But you know what, whatever, I'll take the safety save. Also, I think I'm the only person on the planet who kills Aaron. it helps out with Undyne. I mean, I think every time I've killed Eren, I haven't died to Undyne. Like, in- even in, like, the little practice runs I've done that I didn't record, um, any time I kill Eren, I do not die to Undyne. So, yeah. But then again, that's another one of those, like, beginner things for me, where it's like, you know, it's it's only a time loss if it, like, or it's a time loss for most people, but not for me, because, like, it, it's like a safety thing for me. Helps me not die. Fuck. I cannot menu, da 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 yeah, so on and so forth. God. <laughs> okay, I just have to, <laughs> like, do good on Spears 1, I guess. Fuck, I got stuck there. I have to not die on Spears 1. That's, it's really, it's, it's not that easy. It, I mean, it's not that hard. It, it is that easy. <laughs> Uh, okay then. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's it, Spears one is fairly easy. I I mean I think both the Spears uh, parts are fairly easy. I do find two a little easier though because you you pre like decide where they spawn essentially. Like they spawn relative to you, which I think makes it a little easier. I can't be the only one who's never understood what that sprite is supposed to be. Like, is she grabbing him by the eye? <laughs> that looks painful. Who's ready for gasser? I was I was ready for Gaster, but he didn't appear. Damn. Sucks. Don't you guys hate it when that happens when you're ready for Gaster but he doesn't appear? Who's 
forgot to equip the tutu. No, fuck, why am I misrenewing? No, I'll use the bandage. Just so I have an extra, you know, or don't have that occupying the inventory slot, rather. I love mashing and holding right. I should have kept the bandage for this one. Fuck. Fuck, dude. It doesn't really matter. I, I I got a huge time save earlier from uh from Enter Snowden and Papyrus, so I think I'm good. As long as I do well on that dummy. Which I don't typically go for like the uh the whatever is nine turn dummy strategy or whatever. Um it was eight or nine turn, I don't I don't remember. Um, I don't typically go for that, but, you know. Because I've never, like, really been able to get the movement down quite right. I mean, I'll, I'll have to practice that more. I'm also planning on, uh... Planning on doing... Uh... What is it? T TPE glitchless at some point. Because... I have some interesting music mods uh, that are mostly just for uh, songs that are in the like pacifist route, songs that you don't really hear elsewhere in the game, like in the around the epilogue. Um, <laughs> you know, you guys will see. Oh, 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 I thought I was on top of him. Okay, I thought. I hate, like, that, like, getting on Monster Kid because I, I can never figure out, like, what angle you have to do it from, or, like, I, I'd have to look at what it's like in debug mode, because I remember there's some, like, numbers in debug mode there, and, like, I think those numbers determine, like, when you can, when you can get on, it's, it's weird. Spears 2 is easier, I said. Okay, this is gonna be a good fucking run. Just, I just have a feeling. <sighs> Excuse me. It sounds like it came from over there. Oh, you've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. P? Huh? That's a nice name. <laughs> My name is John C. No. My 
name is not Shane. Alright, boys. It's time for Mad Dumpy. Alright guys, should I do the funny? Should I do the funny loud? You know what, no, I'm not gonna do the funny loud, but it's just gonna damage me. If I, if I had higher health there, I would have done the funny loud. Though I think I could have afforded to do it if I didn't get that first hit. Saving time on this split, but whatever. I'm still ahead. I'm still a minute ahead. Oh, hey. I guess that's my fun event. <laughs> Fuck. I forgot that I usually go to Garrison and do this. I forgot to throw out the stick, but whatever. I'll throw that out when I need to. Which isn't right now. Also, if you're wondering what I what I do that I don't think I've never seen anyone else do that, but if you're wondering what I do there, I specifically menu with the box to rearrange my inventory. Um so the spider donut is towards the bottom, that way I don't accidentally use it.
Okay, here's here's a question. Who the fuck said behind you into that echo flower for that to happen? <laughs> Seems a little too convenient. I'm actually fairly confident I'm not going to die out on time, but I'm still going to save my life. I love how I tell her that her attacks are too easy before she even attacks. <laughs> No, fuck, that was the wrong button. I cannot menu. I cannot menu. Okay, uh... No, I won't stop running away.
Ooh, we love Metaton. New car, new car, new car, new car, new car, new car. No.
So right floor two takes us to left floor three. Left floor three. So we'll just have to go quick through uh, through fucking um, wait no. We'll just have to go really quick through. Um, Royal Guard. Uh... That's the wrong guy, okay. Well...
Oh no, he's hot! I hope this ends up being a good run. Consistently my worst split. Bring it on.
How do I get to the next page again? Here we go. Spider don't. <laughs> I forgot how the menu. Unironically. Not bad. Wait, what? I'm losing time. Wait, no, I'm not. Okay, okay for a second, I thought I was losing time. Well, I, okay, I'm losing time over what I was before, but not over my last run. I read that as uh, 153, uh, 153.41 instead of 152.41. So I was like, what the fuck? Oh, God. It makes me short. I don't know. <laughs> I love my song. <laughs> So sad that I'm gonna die. Oh god, what the fuck, I would Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh god. It's the furthest I've actually made it in that puzzle, not that that means anything. <laughs> time there, but I don't really care. I do this for fun. <clears throat> I do this for fun. I'm probably like the least competitive speedrunner out there. Then again, it's because I'm like a super beginner, so... Thank you. 
I love core music. So good. The core theme, mmm. It's like hard mode all over again. <laughs> except, um, except my stats are better in every way. <laughs> Okay, he wanted me to pick on him. Pick on Don't get hit, 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 don't get hit. The one time tell just telling myself don't get hit works. Actually, you know what? No, who am I kidding? That always works. <laughs> Just don't get hit, forehead. Let me look at my items here. Okay, I might want to go back down and buy some stuff real quick. 
I'll just buy whatever I can. Hopefully this ends up being a fast marathon. Let's do this, boys. Whew. Let's get this fucking bread. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Fun cute true.
Sorry if I'm not giving much commentary on this. It's just one, um, you know, this is, I'm kind of focused on this, and two, this is just such an amazing fight. Like, I just, I just love this fight. Metaton. There's a metaton shaped hole in my metaton shaped heart. I think you should see a doctor about that. Oh yeah, I'll knock him dead. Literally. my favorite song in the soundtrack by the way i love this <laughs> it's, just, it's my jam <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, and I, I do have enough enough items. Alright. Time to fight Blake Bortles. A long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. Also, I, I do like how in this game, uh, this is something that Shay pointed out to me, but in this game, um, the monsters call the human it in the same way that humans would call a monster it. I just <laughs> they never noticed that. Over time, Azriel and the human became like siblings. And the king and queen treated the, treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. <sighs> I I just I love I love the new home cutscene so much. Then, one day, the human became very ill. The sick human had only one request, to see the flowers from their village, but there was nothing we could do. The next day, the next day, the human died. Azriel, racked with grief, absorbed the human soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. With the human soul, Azriel crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset, back to the village of the human. Azriel reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Azriel holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Azriel had the power to destroy them all. But... Azriel did not fight back. Clutching the human, Azriel smiled and walked away. What a fucking chat. Wounded, Azriel stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. The kingdom fell into despair, and the king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. It's not long now. King Asgore will let us go and say, look, save us, give us freedom, whatever. You should be smiling too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? You're going to be free. fucking game is going to make me cry. <laughs> oh my god. I, 
I think I split early there. Yeah, I, I think I did. Yeah, I split on exiting this room, I think. God. What's EXP? It's an acronym. It stands for execution points. Way of qualifying the pain you've inflicted on others. When you kill someone, blah blah blah, blah you got not XP your love increases. Love too is an acronym. It stands for level of violence, kid. A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. Hands? <laughs> ah! uh. right. Yeah, this is definitely where I split. Split exiting judgment hall. I, I think I split on entry to here, so I don't know why I did that, but whatever. From now on, I will split on entry there. The uh, the new home split ends, and the Blake Portal split begins when I when I spot Blake Portals. Makes sense. These schnasty time saves, though. Might be like sub 145. Who knows? If I can get a good ass square fight, I guess. Dude. I don't need to save there. I can save here. Alright, let's do this, Blake Bortles. <laughs> Fuck. I forgot about. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, God. You guys don't know what I'm laughing at yet, but you'll see. Here we go, boys. I'm already laughing and it hasn't even started. Materia Collective is a Seattle based record label and music publisher <laughs> that specializes in video game music. They release video game soundtracks and remix albums inspired by games God. such as The Legend of Zelda, Pokemon Gold, and Diddy Kong Racing. Launched in 2015. Fuck Materia you, Materia Collective. Video game composers and independent video By the way, did you know that Materia Collective doesn't pay their employees? License cover or artists. And, manage and what's the difference? And developers copyrights. The label's community of artists began with a release of the five Community of artists who don't get paid. Final Fantasy VII Remixed. A Final Fantasy VII tribute to Nobuo Uematsu's original soundtrack. Featuring 87 tracks and over 200 emerging music producers. They have since released over three. Thanks to yes, I, I just I just like to thank some random user on Shay's Discord server whose name I don't remember for uh, for making this. Based compilations in 2017, the label partnered with San Francisco-based music rights company Louder to manage its licensing efforts by processing license requests and use of information. It's so like it's so barren without the music. It's just material collective. In 2018. I'll have to like vocode this at some point to make it sound like just a little better. I'll vocode it to to Asgore. It received VGMO's annual game music award for best album, fan arranged. It also debuted on the Billboard Top 10 Classical chart. 
Artists who have released music <laughs> so to the Collective include Toby Fox, whose 2015 Yo. role-playing video game Undertale has sold more than 1 million copies. Yo, Undertale, what's that? I've never heard of it. 2018 Games Forbes 30 Under 30 list. The label has also released music from Maluka, including her album Read Night, a tribute to Mass Effect, in 2020. In 2017, Material released Echoes of the First Dreamer, the musical prequel to Golem from Halo composer Martin O'Donnell. Other artists who have released albums on the label include composers Lena Rain, Chris Velasco, and Neil Acree. Material Collective is a Seattle based and then it just record label and music publisher that specializes in video game music. They if I had a TTS for the full article, then I'd use it, but... Inspired by games such as The Legend of Zelda, no, I, don't. I just have, just have the beginning. Launched in yeah, it, for those of you who can't tell, this is the uh, text-to-speech of the Material Collective Wikipedia article. Game ...developers to produce soundtracks, license cover albums, and manage composers and developers' copyrights. The label's community of artists began with a release of the five-disc Materia, Final Fantasy VII no Remix, a Final Fantasy VII tribute to Nobuo Uematsu's original soundtrack, featuring 87 tracks and over 200 emerging music producers. They have since released over 300 titles, including original video game soundtracks, game music covers and remixes, <laughs> and community-based <laughs> compilations. In 2017, the label partnered with San Francisco-based music rights company Louder to manage its licensing efforts. I'm not doing too good on this fight, but I am getting funny material collections, so. <laughs> so. <laughs> mechanical licenses it's all that matters, and administering really. royalty payments. In 2018, Materia released the album Royalty Payments that they don't give the out to their artists. Jimenez, a tribute to Legend of Zelda's Majora's Mask. It received VGMO's annual game music award for best album, fan arranged. It also Boy, we're still laughing at this shit. <laughs> I'm laughing even after it stopped, god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys. Sorry. I hit you guys. <laughs> I hit my audience. No way Evan beats his audience. I was gonna say Evan beats his audience at, at Undertale speedruns, but then again, the, uh, the probably the biggest audience I have for these videos is um, the the people who verify my runs? Hi, Star Smiley. Um, so <laughs> they're all better at this game than me. So no, I do not beat my audience at Undertale speedruns. He imitates Shams eye when he says everyone, oh my god, I'm the first person to ever notice this. Why am I mashing? That sounds fun. So this will, th this will PB unless I somehow do this fight in 20 minutes. <laughs> unless it, unless it somehow takes me 20 minutes to do this fight, this is guaranteed to PB. Yeah. <laughs> 
still alive, buddy. Buddy. I, 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 I tried to say, like, baby and buddy at the same time. Booty. Still alive, booty. <laughs> Still alive, Oomphy. <laughs> you know, I, I honestly don't care about the time loss for ha from having like a six character name. If I do TPE at some point, I will name my character Oomphy. Just cause like, it, I think that'll make the Asriel dialogue really funny. Let me mute myself for two seconds here. Alright boys, turning my, I just, my family was being loud in the background, but just turning my, my mic back on here for uh, left gang, right gang, um, the, uh, the best discourse. <laughs> Ultimately, that will be Shay's impact on the Undertale community. Not, not like his world records or anything, but, but left gang, right gang. Not even like fucking serious skip or anything. No, left gang, right gang. Left gang, baby, left gang, left gang, left gang. Fuck! Every time! Come on! Uh, I guess that's what I get for rooting for the underdog, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's that's what you get for rooting for the underdog, i.e. left game. You know, you don't see him win often, but when you do, it's, it's real satisfying, you know? I, I say that even though left gang and right gang have equal chances. It, it's literally 50-50. It's just fucking gambling. <laughs> okay, well, it's not necessarily gambling, but Shay, Shay turns it into gambling with his chat because of the like, betting channel points on it and shit. Which is very fun. and non-binary pals of mine. Non-binary friends. <sighs> Fuck yeah, boys. so much.
Oh, his defense dropped to zero. Woo! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, baby, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Fight button, fight button, fight button. Ooh, come on, baby. I really wish it was possible to deal 727 damage in this fight. <laughs> God. For a game I've never played, I sure do meme about about Osu quite a bit. When you fucking see it. You know? I also haven't played Amori, which I really need to get around to doing. That way I can officially say, I love Amori. Yeah, I believe the damage cap is 720, so you can't get 727, which is very disappointing. You idiot. You idiot. Idiota. Please, sir, stop killing me. Okay, uh, th <laughs> God. Whenever I play this game, especially speedrunning, because you know I've, I was introduced to the concept of Undertale speedrunning by Shay, but whenever I play this game, I always just fucking think of like shit that Shay has done or said. And just reading that, I just remembered like something Shay said. It was along the lines of like um, millennials ruined the word daddy, and now Gen Z has ruined the word mommy. <laughs> uh, so true though. So false, worsty. <laughs> no, you can't do that. No, you're supposed to obey me. Uh, seizure warning, by the way. Uh, I forgot to say that. <laughs> Die, 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 die. Ooh, yeah, baby. That's what I've been waiting for. That's what it's all about. Uh, yeah. And so on and so forth. Most critical noises. Woo! Yeah, baby! That's what I've been waiting for! That's what it's all about! Woo!